Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amara Parks. I'm a musician, recording artist, and generally creative person. And this is my first time attempting to make a YouTube video that requires editing. This video is about my journey as a musician, so I'm going to try to be as candid as possible, as, as if I'm having a conversation with you, like in a coffee shop or something, just about my story. My music journey. I was in public school in elementary school through third grade, but then in fourth grade and on, my parents decided to pull me out and homeschool me, which I'm really grateful for. But we were well socialized and we had lots of friend groups and it was just great. But we also had time to kind of dig into our true interests and develop them. And something that we started right away when we became homeschooled. My sister and I wrote our first song together, which is called Dry Spell, which hopefully someday we'll still release it even though it's not our best, because it was our first. And we started to make a lot of memories together, writing music together. She was the one who instigated it a lot because she was older. She sang, she played the guitar. I would just harmonize with her, and that's kind of how it started out. That was about 10 years ago now which is kind of crazy to think about, actually. Our family isn't particularly musical. Like, we have, like, my parents have music abilities, but they don't really do it around us much, so we didn't have that influence at home. But in our homeschool groups, we were encouraged to chase that a little bit more through choir, band, anything musical that we did. We would perform now and then um, for concerts for our homeschool groups, too. So we were known for singing together, but eventually we got a chance to start performing for a few years. We did it pretty seriously. Um, we even ended up doing some wedding gigs, and we still do now and then, in coffee shops or restaurants and competitions and talent shows. So what kind of got us into that was our county fair talent show, which was in 2016, which is four years ago now. And we went there and we performed um, one of my originals that we sang together and we actually won our division at the county and we went to State Fair. We did not win at State Fair, but it was a great experience to do together and we really had a lot of fun with that. We ended up buying a sound system together and using that at some of our gigs. So during this time, I started to take music more seriously, so it wasn't just my sister's thing, it was also my thing. And I started writing songs really seriously. Not counting the first few songs that I wrote when I was like 11 or something, I've written over 60 songs. And that's crazy to talk about. So for a long time, I was writing a lot of music, and then the gigs that my sister and I were doing, or that I was doing alone, started slowing down because the county talent show that we were a part of kind of stopped going and they were really organizing that so we got those opportunities that way. So we kind of took a little break from the gig scene and then Corona hit too so we weren't actually able to do anything. We have always talked about recording a CD and it just never happened. So let me tell you where the switch flipped for me because I've been a musician my whole life, but I didn't always have the fire to get my music out there that I do now. So quarantine hits and I lose all my work. Um, my other job that I don't have anymore, which is an employment, and then I'm also self-employed, both of those jobs stopped. So when you lose everything in your life that's a constant, for the most part, I was also going through a breakup at the same time, so it was a lot you come back to what is always there and what your passion is. It was that moment where I finally realized this is something that I need to do. I am a musician. And God told me, he's like, Amara, musician comes before her, my other professions. And I was just like, okay. And I suddenly got this fire to start pursuing this as an actual potential career. And I also feel like there's something big about this. It became such a healing thing for me during that time. And I realized, what have I always wanted when I write these songs? It wasn't just to make me feel better. I always wanted to touch people with my lyrics. I'm trying to reach everyone because everyone has goodness in them. And so I have a specific mission to 
sing for everyone the things that bring us together, that common thread of goodness that we all have. My phrase is, I write lyrics to help you heal, feel, and be free. There's so much purpose in that and I get so fulfilled when someone hears my song and they're touched by it and it helps them. Um, while I am a Christian and that's very important to me, I've never felt a call to be a Christian artist. I've always felt the call to be someone who writes lyrics with a meaning that everyone can relate to, that brings people together and doesn't cause any division, and that inspires people to become the better self and to get through those hard times and make the most of them, to find that peace within that we all have access to as people. We have access to that but it's a matter of whether or not we cultivate that within. So that's kind of where my passion is with all of this. Since I was told by God that this comes before everything else in my life, I have been putting so much time into it. I've released my first two singles, Comfort Zone and Calling. I've done a collaboration. There's so much more coming. I'm dedicating some time to learning a few things, music production, audio engineering and video editing so that I can become more competent as an artist and so if anything closes down again due to COVID or if anything isn't available to me I can still make it happen because of my own set of skills. I'm hoping to continue doing gigs and events and weddings. I have a sound system still and I'm just really excited even for the practical ways of making money in this but also for the potential of reaching the hearts of people, reaching the hearts of my listeners. And I'm hoping that I get the chance to share those messages with more people. So it's definitely a ministry for me just to sing. For those of you who are Christians, you will relate to this. Everyone has that still small voice in their hearts, which is Jesus. And that still small voice is what creates morality. It's what creates the difference between right and wrong. It's what helps us as people to get through things. And I believe that if people tune into that, they will find God. So it's a totally different kind of ministry, but it's still a ministry for me. So I just want to say thank you guys for being on this journey with me so far, and there's so much more to come. I'm not slowing down anytime soon. I have three or more songs in the works right now two singles and a collaboration. And I'm ready to deliver you guys more songs that help you feel, heal, and be free. Definitely like this video, subscribe to my channel, stay in the loop because there's a lot going down and I love to have you on this journey. I'm so excited to see what will happen and what God will do. I am on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube of course, Twitter, and TikTok. So TikTok's my favorite platform. I do a lot of content on there every single day. So if you want to keep following me in the little moments, that will be the place to go. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have a great day and God bless. Do my bangs look good? so different. Have a great day. <laughs>